Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about Wells Fargo and four ways that you can close your account with Wells Fargo. So first, what might be some reasons that you'd want to close your account? Well, there could be many reasons. Some of these could include fees that the bank is charging are too high, they require a certain minimum balance, or you've moved to a new part of the country, among many, many other reasons. So for whatever reason that you're wanting to close your Wells Fargo account, I'll be walking you through the different ways that you can do that. The first way will be by calling Wells Fargo and closing your account over the phone. As you can see, I'm already on the Wells Fargo website and you can see the URL at the top, wellsfargo.com. I'll be using Safari, but you can use any browser that you'd like. Once you're on the website, you'll look for the customer service number. To do this, you're going to want to click on the menu button, which is located on the red bar at the very top right hand corner of the screen. You'll identify it by the three white lines. So you'll click on that and then scroll down until you see the customer service link. So you'll click on that link and then it's going to give you a lot of different questions and things like that that it answers. So just continue scrolling down until you see the contact us option and click the contact us button and then you'll have your general banking phone number and you can select the type of account that you have to find that phone number to call when you call they may require verification in writing before they'll close your account but closing it over the phone is usually an option the second way to close your account is going to be by mailing wells fargo a letter you can look for this address on the website this option would be the least recommended one just because when you mail the letter you don't know if the correct department actually received the cancel letter and this is also just the slowest and most inefficient option however it is still an option if you prefer it if you do choose this option you can find this mailing address and you should be able to find it on the website as well so you'll go to this contact us page like this follow the same steps to get here but you're going to continue scrolling down past the phone numbers and you'll see a more ways to contact us menu and you'll see mailing addresses right there. So you'll click on that and then that gives you a list of the different addresses that you can send a letter to according to what services that you are looking to. And so in this case, it would probably be the checking and savings accounts address. The third way to close your account is going to be by actually stopping by a Wells Fargo branch and doing it in person. Some banks only have a few branches, but you can find a branch closest to your location on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Wells Fargo link to go back to the main page. And to find where a location is close to you, you're going to click on the menu button once again at the top right corner, and then click on the ATMs and locations link. That brings you to this screen here where you can either click use my location and your phone, the GPS on your phone will automatically find where you are at and then give you the locations closest to you or you can enter your zip code or city and state and then click the search button and it'll give you a list as well. When you go to the branch, make sure to have some kind of identification with you such as a driver's license or government ID. The fourth way to close your account is going to be by logging on to your online banking account and making an electronic request. To do this, you'll need to log in. So I'm going to go ahead and go back again to the main Wells Fargo page. And you'll see a sign on button located under the red bar at the top right hand corner. So you'll click sign on and then you'll just enter your username and password and click sign on. Once you're logged in, you can look for the option to close your account. Sometimes this means just sending an email to Wells Fargo, or it could be filling out an online form. So those are the four ways that you can close your Wells Fargo account. If you happen to know of a different way to close a bank account at Wells Fargo, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you're looking for a new bank, be sure to check out the video description for more information on banking.